everybody, and welcome back to Astroneer with your friend Curl's Paladin. And in today's episode, what I would like to do is continue our Hydrazine acquisition, or whatever it is we want to call it. Now, I was very fortunate. Um, you might have heard it already. This ammonium deposit over here seems to be doing very well. However, it was very finicky. I want you to look around and tell me where you see the resin. Because I see no resin. However, I had to move it around to, uh, originally I had it sitting right about here, then I moved it back here, then I moved it over here, then over here, and it would always pull up resin. Uh, finally, I got it to sit down there, and you can see where it's at uh, there, as well as um, it is pulling ammonium. So, it's been running for only about 10 minutes or so. Um, so yeah, you can see there's 7 up there. Uh, I'm not going to go for the full 400 at the moment. 32 will be more than enough for the time being. This is enough to get me started, and then maybe I can get something going longer term and larger scale over on Kalidor. So I've got that thumping away over there. So I'm going to need a lot of ammonium. I have plenty of hydrazine. In fact, I think I have over... Uh, yeah, I have 165 of it, at least. Ah, uh, not hydrazine, I'm sorry, hydrogen. And you can see I actually have 170, because there's 160, 165, 170. Um, <clears throat> methane, um, yeah, I could do a little, uh, I could get more, but I don't really need it at the moment. The only thing you need methane for is silicone, and I've pretty much got everything I need silicone for at the moment. Uh, argon, going to need lots of that, because that, of course, turns into steel, which then, of course, turns into nanocarbon alloy, which turns into RTGs, auto extractors, and whatever else have you there. So, uh, but the other core component that is missing from the entire equation here is graphite. So, I'm going to need to get a lot of graphite. Um, and right now, I don't think I have any. The uh, trade rate for graphite is, yeah, it's okay. I want to say it's one to two. Uh, da, da, there it is, yeah. One to two, which, okay, that's not too bad. I could get 28 right there from that. But I like to use scrap as like a, a immediate need or a last resort type thing. Um, so what I would much rather do is get a large amount of graphite. So what I'm going to try to do here is identify a graphite deposit and start exploiting, uh, start exploiting it so I can get stuff from it. Um, there are usually much better graphite deposits over on Glacio. Glacio is a wonderful planet, but right now getting things around, as we can tell with the hydrazine, not as... Um, it's not as easy. So, the first thing that I want to do to make all of this work is get a medium resource canister. That's glass and plastic. So, uh, ironically, I don't have any of either. So, I need quartz. Uh, I have the compound there. Uh, I don't even know if I have carbon laying around, but I have a lot of organic... Um, so we'll just drop one over there. So it'll give me a carbon. I have the compound right there. Uh, so compound and car... Oh, wait, hang on. Nope, those are exochips. <laughs> From a distance, they, they look like carbon. Okay. Um, but then I'll also need quartz to get glass. I can either go underground to grab that, or I can uh, spin some up in this soil spinner Um You know what? I'm just going to do that because I would like to get a large amount of quartz. So let's just go ahead and do it. I mean, four isn't a lot, lot, but it's better than zero. Um, I'm going to move this resin. In fact, these four resin, I think, came from my failed uh, locations for the auto extractor over there. Um, but this worked out really well because I only had to run power. Uh, this, this platform is actually useful. I only had to run power to there, and that was it. Uh, if I had gone over to where I have that large deposit over on Kalidor, I'd have to get the RTGs over there, the platforms over there, the auto arm over there, 
all that nonsense. Let's save that for when I have things a little bit better. So, there's our quartz. I'm just going to do one for one glass at the moment. So, drop that off, get that going. Uh, I have a helium in my backpack. I think I can actually... Nope. That's argon, not helium. So, we're just going to drop you off right there. Okay. Um, so, there's the glass. So, I have glass plastic. Uh, I still don't have my base layout memorized. I don't... I, I might have to still move things around because... <clears throat> um, oh, I never picked up the... Pl grumble, grumble. There we go. Um, I may have to reorganize the base one more time because I don't like the printer being way the heck over here. Um, I may move the printer to be a little more central. So, um, We got research going here. Uh, we got another nice big one there. We got a couple of little ones. So... Should be set. I think I have enough bites for everything in the game at this point. So, all right. So I've got the resource canister, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to wander around on my rover. Um, that really is probably just the easiest way to do this. Uh, in fact, what I will also do, uh, sniff the roses there. I'm going to grab. A couple of these, just in case I want to put beacons down. So, uh, and I just answered my question. It's like, where'd that compound go? And our little ninja resource canister there sucked them up. All right. Um, actually, I'm going to put that back there. Okay. All right. Uh, you know, and I want to get this rail going somewhere. But I don't want to build a rail for the sake of building a rail. I want to actually have a reason to get there. My plan is that this is going to be home base right here. But the other location that I have the rail mostly toward is going to be my uh, kind of my powerhouse or my factory. Where it's where all the actual production will occur for stuff. And then this is kind of like the summer home type thing, where I have the bare necessities, as it were. So, all right, I'm going to think I'm going to go this way. Uh, and we're just going to go looking for... Uh, go looking for graphite. Uh, I have the that up. I don't know if Usagi is fed. Um, it doesn't look like... It is, because I'm not seeing anything on the radar. Um, but this will kind of give me an idea of which directions I've been going. Oh, I didn't even... Hey, I probably saw that a while ago. Oh, and hey, look! Actually, I'm pretty certain... Oh, no, I thought I saw a... Uh, whatchamacallit on there? Beacon. Um, we'll leave that there for the time being. So... Alright, so, wandering around and looking for graphite. Um, oh, well, here we go. Graphite. So I didn't have to go too far. I don't know how much I'll get out of this, but let's uh, set that down. I want these out of my backpack. Come on. There we go. All right. Ah! I can't click the right thing. There. Okay. So let's grab some graphite. Um, this is so exciting, isn't it? Watching people suck up resources. Um, and I know, yeah, I could do the entire soil thing and uh, trade and such. But I don't find that trade uh, exchange rate to be very beneficial. And as I said before, I really try to use scrap as a last resort. Because there's a lot of times it's like, I just need titanium or something that is not readily available. And I'd rather just trade for it uh, when I need to. So kind of like the emergency supply. Okay, so there is graphite down here somewhere. It is telling me there is some. Um, where at? I don't know. And our uh, assistant astroneer is present. 
Um, I don't do cameras, but if I ever did do cameras, you would be able to see what she's doing right now, which is being as helpful as a cat would normally be in this type of a situation. Okay, so... I mean, I don't think I'm going to fill this canister. I was really hoping for a little bit more than... This looks like about six here. Um, this is why the auto extractors are really cool, because they would get a lot more out of this. Um, so it's showing me that there's still some here. There, and there. And there's still a little bit over there, although now... My backpack is full, so let's just go ahead, drop these off. And now I can drop that there without fear of it sucking up the quartz. So here I got all prepared for a big long trip, and I was sort of fortunate. I found some graphite fairly nearby. Okay, floaty bit. Get rid of the floaty bit. There we go. Okay, that's compound. Up, 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 up. That still says there's a little bit here somewhere. Alright, so there we go. Still says there's some... I love that indicator that they added. I forgot which release it was they put that in there. But at least it lets you know, hey, should I keep digging or not? Um... Let's see if I do that. Whoa! Okay, I didn't want to do that. This sucked. Uh, what do they call this when you just kind of like, just strip mining, right? Um, so you, so friendly to the environment. Uh, let's see if I can get the heck out of here now. Up close and personal with our Astroneer. Okay. Uh, organic, organic. Um. I think I'm, I'm, I'm trying to be a little bit too, uh, greedy here. Although, I th looks like I got it all. I don't see any more graphite showing up anymore. Okay. Well, I got... How many was that? Seven. Eight. Do I hear nine? No, eight. Okay. Uh, let's see if I can find a little bit more. So, we'll go up over this mountain. And... I am really terrible at... Oh, 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 look at that! Look at that! Okay, so, uh, somebody did comment how, uh, it was the ships, th uh, the other shadows, that right there is a ship. And if you look up in the sky, but it's behind the, uh, cloud at the moment, it is up there. Um, but... There it is. That is the whatever ship it is that drops you off. I know with all the lore coming up, uh, we've got a lot of the names now. Um, now I'm looking up at the sky and such instead of at the ground to see where the graphite is. But you can actually see it in orbit. There it is. Okay, right there. And that was what was casting the shadow. So, anyhow, um, so it isn't, um, the, the shadows that I saw before, they really do look like, there, see them? They're going by now. And I don't know what those are, but to me, they look like rail posts. Uh, I don't know what's really going on, but that's what those shadows look like. Uh, if I can ever get a freeze frame on them, maybe get a closer look. But they look like rail post shadows to me. 
Uh, which is weird because I don't really have a lot of rail posts elsewhere, do I? Uh, I have some on Glacio. Uh, and I have some on Kalidor, but not that many. Okay. Um, anyhow, I'm still looking for... Um, uh, uh, the graphite stuff, yeah. So we got a Caldrangia over here. Um, don't need it. I finished the event for this year in another save. Um, so it was easier to do it in the other save where I pretty much already had the setup for it. Alright, so come on, graphite! So I made my way all the way out to the other uh, abandoned outpost, or whatever that you want to call that, the abandoned landing pad. Um, I'm also trying to keep an eye out for those portable smelters. I really want to get some portable smelters. I know you can trade for them, but the trade rate is 8 Astronium to one portable smelter, and at the moment I have zero astronium. So I have zero um, portable smelters. This area looks familiar. Did I get stuck over here at one point? Um, hmm. Why is graphite so... that and clay. I don't know why clay is such a difficult research to uh, research. Oh, I said it again. Didn't I do that about a year and a half ago? Research. <laughs> uh, oh well. Um, grab that. And I see those look like. Uh, yeah, that's not. That's bounce vines. Is there anything over here that I want? Um. Oh, well, hey, look! I'm only on my graphite. Some dynamite. I have plenty of dynamite for the time being. What else do we got in here, if anything? Um, we have ceramic and zinc. Okay. Oh, and more zinc and a packager. Okay. And that scrap that's sitting there, the little solar panels, is actually really good scrap. Um, just pack you up. That way if I find a good tier 2 item I can drop you down there. Okay. Oh, this is not going very well. Just looking for graphite. Uh, that's sort of meander back towards home base. Via a different route. We have a, a wind vane here, or a wind turbine. Uh, I have the space for it, so why not? And that looks like scrap over there. Yep. Um, keep my eye out. There we go, graphite. I'm too busy looking at the, the wrecks, and I almost went right by this. Ooh, this looks like a... This looks very promising. Very promising indeed. Um, yeah. Okay. Uh, this could be worthy of a beacon. Um, so let's go ahead. We're going to drop off some zinc here. We're going to drop off, um, this. There we go. Okay. Yep. Grab one of these. Turn it into a beacon. I'm going to drop it off. There might be graphite closer, but for right now, this is what I found. And I will make it purple. There we go. Hopefully I remember. Uh, I'd love to take both those back, but... Oh well. Don't have space now. Alright. This looks like it would have been a good one for the auto extractor, too, but... 
I think if I do an auto extractor on graphite, it'll be over on Glacio. Uh, in fact, I think there was a really good spot right next to the base uh, on Glacio. Alright, let's go ahead and... Oh. Full up. So I'm really curious about the new lore. Um... And what it all means. Um, it's it's kind of a interesting thing, f or a risk, I should say, maybe, because right now the game being so open ended, you know, it's like okay, I'm just doing whatever I want to. If they introduce lore, now it'll be like oh, but I don't, I don't, you know. That lore doesn't jive with my playstyle or whatever you want to say. Um, you know, I want to be whatever, and the lore is saying I'm not. My suspicion is we are, when I say we, astroneers, um, are an experiment um, by Exo Dynamics. That's what I'm guessing. Um, based on the limited stuff I've seen. But, you know, there's talk about, well, we nearly lost one today, and so on and so forth. Um, I think I've already revealed those particular ones. Um, I think I only have the three here that I retrieved. I haven't been able to find very many more. Or, no, wait a minute. No, I can't remember. <laughs> oh my gosh, my memory is so terrible. Uh, I should really rename the channel to, you know, um, Gaming with Senility or something like that. Um, oh well. Still grabbing graphite. And yeah, this is a very good deposit. Um, watch the oxygen, though. So slow to gather it all, though. Alright, full up. Come back, top off on the O2 while we drop off some more graphite. So up to 21. Um, okay, so none over there. So, whilst I'm doing this, um, we've got holidays coming up pretty, you know, soon, more or less, here in the U.S. We've got Thanksgiving coming up. I hope those of you that celebrate Thanksgiving uh, have plans with your family and that they will be enjoyable. Uh, Thanksgiving uh, gets that reputation for the, uh, you know, jokes it gets, because a lot of times it's true, um, where you see family and then it's like one of the, you know, didn't work out very well. Um, for me, I don't have any plans for Thanksgiving myself. Um, my family all lives far away, um, so I have a second family. Um, a friend, a dear friend, in fact, the person that put up with me while I was recovering from uh, the cancer surgery. Uh, he and his uh, mother and stepfather, we may end up getting together for Thanksgiving dinner. Well, I think that's enough, right? 22? Yeah. All right, let's head back. Um, so it is uh, this way. There goes more shadows. See, those look like rail posts. Don't those look like rail posts? To me, those look like rail posts. Um, so they might be shadows from rail posts on another planet. I don't know, though. 
Is there anything worthwhile in here? Um, solid fuel jump jet. I'm not a fan of the so of jump jets. Um, ooh, an auto arm. Darn it! I should. Well, I do have uh, what you call graphite. I could uh, package it, but I could also just do this. Um, put that in the backpack. Drop that there. Okay. All right. Uh, oh, that's right. I have to get over the spine of the world, don't I? Okay. Um, this looks like a good spot to do it. So right through here. Bump, bump, bump. Stupid rocks. Okay. Oh, another solar panel, but I don't have space for it. Um, there's the, um, one base, but let's just go this way. A wind vane, or a wind turbine. Can I actually fit through here? Might be able to do it. Might be able to do it. Oh, look at that. Awesome. I think that was the spine of the world. I think. Oh, nope. That's up ahead still. Alright. Um, wait. Nope. Sorry, I'm, I'm also looking for those... Uh, whatchamacalls. It's portable smelters. There's a solar panel there. Ooh, some clay. I can usually justify spinning up clay. Alright. Go around the spine of the world. Uh, right up. Come on. And I think, yeah, this is the direction I think I actually left in, too, so... I ended up coming back the same direction because that little backpack that's nestled over in the weeds is around here somewhere. Um, yep, right there. A a Ashtoneer's grave site. We'll we'll leave it alone. All right. Well, hopefully, I mean, it's been about what 25 minutes or so. I haven't. I don't actually have a timer going. Um, Hopefully the uh, ammonium extractor has filled up. In fact, it looks like it did, because it looks like it is stalled. Alright, well, so I have plenty of graphite, uh, plenty of ammonium. So what I would like to do next uh, is I'm going to start doing some hydrazine production, which will then lead to some graphene production. But for right now, I think this is a good spot to say we're done for right now. Um, and move on to another episode in the future. So everybody, actually, I'm really curious. Here's, are these three duplicates? I don't remember if I was keeping them somewhere or if these are the only ones I got. I feel like I got more than three. I just don't know where I put them all. I really don't know where I, <laughs> I dropped them all off. Ah, uh, ah, uh, yeah, memory going, okay, anyhow, everybody, I hope you enjoyed the episode, and next episode, I'm gonna start getting some hydrazine going, um, graphene, so I can get some nanocarbon alloys, some RTGs, also, so I can get a uh, hydrazine just for shuttles, so I can get back and forth a little bit more, uh, I want to get some, uh, auto extractor set up so that I can start getting some hematite and some titanite. I uh, also want to grab uh, pretty much all the metals, especially copper. So Calidor will be copper and ammonium. Our, uh, Silva, I'm sorry, Silva will be whatever, uh, resin compound. Um, Glacio will be hematite and titanite. Lithium will be Messania, 
And then the rest of the planets, uh, no real reason to go to them at this point. So, but I hope you had a great time watching this episode. Let me know what you think in the comments below, and I will see all of you ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, kids of all ages, in the next episode of Astroneer. Take care, and bye. Thank you.